Today I'm going to show you how to create a really stunning WordPress classified hats website with a WordPress theme called Listfinity. Today I walk you through the most unique features of the Listfinity theme functionality so you can better understand how to turn your WordPress website into a stunning classified hats website. Theme is available for a one-time fee of $59. There is no need to install additional plugins and the theme, which has been released around 2020, is sold exclusively at Envato Marketplace. Lisfinity is suitable for any kind of classified heads, WordPress websites and for any niche you can think of, like real estate business, cars, pets, to name a few. On top of that, it's fully integrated with Elementor Page Builder, which means you can design unlimited layouts combining Elementor Pro widgets and Listfinity theme elements. Without any further ado, let's begin. A classified website, as you know, is an online platform that brings buyers and sellers together to promote items or services in a single entity. One of the most reputed websites in classified advertising is eBay. By the way, this is not a sponsored video. So, we begin to install the WordPress theme and plugins. First, you download it from Envato Marketplace and to upload it into your WordPress website, you go to Themes and then use this Upload Theme. I have my copy in my computer desktop. Drag and drop it here. Click on this button, Install. You are then prompt to install some essential WordPress plugins to get your, your site up and running and you have access to the installation wizard to guide you through in this configuration setup. The easiest way is to just following the prompts. Click start. Simultaneously, it will also ins install the trial theme and demo content to help you get started. Click to install the trial theme. Awesome! And now it's installing the essential plugins. Let's also import the content. So how many categories do you want? I choose classic all categories. Just click to install and now just wait a few seconds. And once the theme has been installed is all set up, just click to view the website. So we have homepage, the hero section with this beautiful search form the categories, to browse the categories, the promo ads, the registration forms, testimonials, the blog news. Let's start to customize. Just click on this customize button to the top to take us to our WordPress customizer options. Alternatively, you can customize through WooCommerce products tab. And that's exactly what I'm going to show you now, since the WooCommerce plugin has been installed. So click on products, all products. And within this interface, you can simply utilize these filter options to find out all advertisers' products. So, for instance, if I select Advertise Product and then click on this Filter button, you easily find all the available products. In contrast, if I want to check my Payment Package products, I select it and then I find it all here. The same goes for Promotion Products and so on. The Fields Builder will provide you all categories and taxonomies to set up and arrange your advertisers. For example, under Cars, you easily figure out that these field groups have these taxonomies. Make, model, body type, full type and transmission. In contrast, the real estate field group has other totally different taxonomies, property type, property information, floor, etc. However, you can simply add your own custom taxonomy easily and effortlessly by clicking on this, on this head category button and then from here 
I insert my term. Furniture is my random category. The slug is automatically created based on this single name and it should be set in lowercase. And then you had here the plural and you could also have the background image or the icon. Now let's add taxonomies. So we click on this head, add head taxonomy button and now I insert my term material and there you have it, my materials. New taxonomy for my furniture category. Okay, now that I have created a new category called a random category called furniture, to the right you find these three controls. One is to edit the fields. The other one is to edit the group itself. And the last option is to delete the category if for some reason you need to take that action. And next step is to set up the search functionality across the website. You click on the search builder, of your WordPress admin to access them. And from here, you easily find these four vertical tabs that will enable you to create custom search forms for the, for the various locations on your site. So the home page, as you are viewing the home page, it's said to look like this. As you are viewing, only the keywords are enabled. Then we have the search page, the detail search, and the single page group fields. The search page, and these are the taxonomies and the fields that are displayed on the sidebar of the search page. If for, for example, if I input BM, we can view the sidebar with the keywords. And to the right sidebar, we easily find the vendor details with the contact numbers, an option to visit the vendor store. In the content area, we find the location of the car with relevant technical data and the detail search over here consists of specific queries and you easily find them here. For example, I search here for radio and it's over here. And the last location is the add single group fields where you can group your preferred taxonomies under different names to the right. Each category has its own taxonomies. For example, if I click on the cards, I have this set of groups. But if now I change to the real estate, real estate category, I get this set of groups to be displayed. You can add, you can add any group you want, of course, by clicking on this blue button. And next step, I want, I'm going to show you how to set up the vendors on your website so we will be able to take a commission from every listing sale made on your site. To access the vendors, click on the list finity options tab and then from this vertical sidebar, choose vendor setup this one and this is the right spot to enable or disable vendor so at the moment it's myself to take a commission on every sale just enter here your site percentage I enter 50% and when you are done, save the changes. And this means that from now on, I will take 50% from every sold listing and my site will be able to become a marketplace. And this is the text that will be displayed at the user dashboard. You are explaining the details about the payments, but again, this is 100% customizable. Another vendor's configuration configuration, it's under interval to set if notifications are automatically refreshed and this is pretty good since I want to notify my users about the new listings. How to submit a listing? I click on submit listing and as you are viewing, you easily find the four packages available that you can choose to submit and add to. The trial package, the basic with two ads allowed, the recommended and the premium package one. And this is the user dashboard and to submit an ad as a site user is possible. However, registration is required and once the user is successful registered, ads would become available. Only registered users can submit ads. 
And these packages need to become active. You need to have a premium profile. And there's a button here to do so. You can choose the duration. So everything is just like a WooCommerce thing. And this is the listing dashboard. Creating an ad as a site administrator is pretty simple. Move over to WooCommerce products, as this is a WooCommerce product configuration. I'm going to create a random product for the real estate category to demonstrate you how this works. Click on Head New, the title, and the product. Data needs to be set as an ad product. So select it from your drop down list, and now you get. A set of metadata information need to be filled in. So you set the regular price. The sale price can be left off. Uh, go ahead and finish the required information under the product information. The product, the product category type is real estate, as I mentioned before. And there are four active product status, active, expired, sold, and reject. I'm going to set mine as active and the product agent is myself. And the listed date, I will leave it empty for now. So I it will become immediately active. And for the expiration data, all you have to do is to select the data in September and you determine your date. Click now on the details tab. And this is relevant as it displays the price types. There are multiple price types available. Actually, there are nine options, unbelievable. Let's assume you want to set an auction to this house. So select auction, and all you have to do now is to configure the auction status as an active. And the starting time would be this date in August, just to showcase you. If for some reason you leave these two details behind, the regular price entered here will be utilized to the buy now on the advertise. And this option to sell on site, yes or no, works this way. If you set it to yes, it basically means that a head will become available for sale through your website. Otherwise, the price is only used for information. At the right sidebar, it's recommended you set the product images and the gallery product images just to showcase you. I'm going to do this. Product gallery. Select multiple images by pressing that shift on your keyboard. Head to gallery. And additionally, you can add here your product videos. Just enter here the URL and you can add PDF files here to add additional information details. And once you're done, just click on publish, refresh it. Let's see on the front end now. And there you have it. Lisfinity theme supports an unlimited range of, of payment packages. They are created in the same way as the default WooCommerce products. And this is a unique feature. It means you can charge extra money for having new items such as images, videos, or PDF files. For example, let's say under the packages, I have my trial package. And the, I, if I click on the submit listing, so, and if I click on now on the media section, I'm allowed to submit 60 images. If I exceed this number, I'm going to be charged. And the same concept idea of microtransaction also applies for promo videos or extra PDF document files. As I upload new images and the Lisfinity theme is, is telling me that I have nothing to pay for. However, if I exceed the 60 number, I certainly will have to pay extra money to upload new images. To set a trial package is created as a normal WooCommerce product. So you had a new product 
and in the product data you pick the packet payment package product option and then you fill in the details and the most important setting you need to determine is to set only sold once and under the product's submission limit is set at one and you can also set the duration let's say seven days and then you publish if you intend to use the default Listfinity theme template, you would go to Listfinity Options, Pages, Setup. Then you determine the Listfinity templates that you wish to use on the site by selecting from this drop down list. And the same goes for all the pages across the website. On the contrary, if you wish to create, for example, a search page with Elementor Page Builder, the first thing you need to create is to add a new page called Custom Search Page, and you can name whatever you want. And then the second step is setting this page. So publish, click twice, is going back to the Lisfinity theme options page setup and under the main search i select the new page just created save changes and now let's click to edit with elementor and thereafter you can edit the page with elementor to create a custom search bar this is the free version of elementor however keep in mind that Lisfinity offers a lot of widgets and elements to be utilized. Okay, you as a site administrator has full control over the way users, vendors interact across your website. If you click on users and then on your own profile, you will see there is user settings and there are three account types the seller account, the business account, and the buyer account. By default, every registration, the account type is set to business account, but you can change it to other completely account type. To achieve the change, you go to Listfinity options, register setup, and from this dashboard is where you drop, choose the default account type after registration is made. A buyer account type doesn't have options to submit ads, neither to change the business details or packages whatsoever. If I access now to the Lisfinity admin dashboard as a buyer profile, Lisfinity team has a notification tab in order any buyer be notified about messages that may have received. If there is a message, the buyer can click on the provided link to see it. So, to conclude, you have full control over the way people and visitors interact with their profiles. Thank you so much for watching. I will catch you in the next one.